So we're gonna test fit the new Rocket Bunny body kit on the 350 today. So right now we're about to head out to Fullerton to check out Extreme Dimensions. We're gonna talk about a sponsorship and also look for different parts on the 350Z. So I'll see you guys there. All right, we just got to Extreme Dimensions. Let's go inside and check out what they have. Oh man, their fucking warehouse is massive. Some super street mags. Yeah, it was like the AMS. Um, is that your guys' manufacturing facility right next door? So far, so good at Extreme Dimensions. I just picked up something I'm about to show you guys in a few. I'm excited. Ivan's gonna have to inspect it first, but yeah. All right, so right now we're putting the parts in the van. I'm not gonna show you guys what we got yet until we get back to the shop. We got there, bruh. I don't know, it could be for the FRS. This is either RX-7. We'll Let's see. Find Fuck, finally made it back, dude. So much traffic. We're about to unload all our parts right now. All right, so I'm gonna let Ivan explain the process of the entire build that we're going for. It has, it has, uh, it has Bondo, Sanded. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What piece is that? The side players? Crazy, right? They just want to see cars being built. Like, my kids want to watch packages get open with stupid animals in them. Like, I don't get that. Like, YouTube nowadays is all about instant gratification. I want to watch it happen. All right, guys. So this is the body kit we picked up from Extreme Dimension. We got the front bumper, the rear diffuser, we got the back uh, wide fenders. We are currently missing the front wide fenders, but Extreme Dimensions is gonna ship that to us as soon as they get that in stock. Yes, guys, you guys are gonna hate us for this, but it is a rep kit. Now, I wanna explain to you guys why we went ahead and decided to get a replica. Reason number one is the real Rocket Bunny kit is not cheap. We're not ballers, you know, we don't have three, four thousand dollars to drop on a, on a body kit. Reason number two, guys, why we went with the replica kit is the 350Z is a daily driven car. This isn't a show car, it's not a garage car. We live out in California where you're gonna get in a car accident. Somebody's gonna hit you, you know, we're not willing to risk $1,500 bumper. So our best option is to get a replica kit that's cost effective, cheap, and you know, we don't have to worry about um, driving the car. Shout out to Extreme Dimensions. They hooked us up and they hooked us up really good. If you guys knew what price we bought this kit for, hands down, any of you guys would buy this kit. So that's another reason why we went and got this kit. Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit of extra work to you know, make it look and fit right, but that's the process with any body kit, whether it be fake or real. Good morning, guys. It's the next morning. We're gonna try to I'm test the fit the body kit on the 350 today. <laughs> so now I just got in and we got the, the Mustang boys out there. Always up to no good, man. Always. We got the 350 on the Carla. Ivan, right now, he's taking off the front bumper. There's a few clips inside needs to take out and that should be the first thing we're gonna test fit all right you're just folding it in right now damn that's gonna come out nice straight up i might want to change the headlights though if we can't smoke them ourselves so i've been got the front bumper up it's taping it on it's just a test fit for now we don't want to bolt everything yet just to make sure the kit fits we've already found a couple cracks in it a big one on the side right here so we're gonna have to return it and get a new one for now it looks fucking badass so far it looks way better than the stock how's it aligning what's the status well we're gonna have to pull this out a little bit more so this curved matches we have to just stand down these rough edges a little bit make them nice and smooth right now this is sticking out it's not lining up really well because we got to get the over so we gotta get these overfenders put on, locked up, to see how this matches. Besides that, it's not too bad. Same thing here. 
sticking out. We need to get some over fenders on. It's gonna look good. For yeah. sure, we gotta get rid of that bar and then maybe the mesh right here. So we just decided to bite the bullet and we're gonna take off the badges. Any tips on removing um, badges? So you gotta definitely use the heat gun. The reason I wanna do is heat up the actual badge itself because the only thing that's holding the badge to the car is a double-sided tape, like 3M tape. Heat up the adhesive and then it'll basically just peel off on itself. So I'm gonna start warming it up. And another thing too, I use a plastic uh, panel removal tool. This way it doesn't scratch the paint. There it goes. Yeah, like the plastic just warps right off. Man, you got to lube it up a little bit? Nah, always going raw, guys. Going raw? Always there raw. Oh, bruh. Raw. And now we're gonna apply the goo gone to get all the adhesive out. Like Ivan said earlier, all this shit is built up over time since it's, you know, hasn't been debadged before. After experiencing the true form of Goo Gone with the CRV, I'm like so over this shit. Like, I, I hate the smell, it makes me nauseous. The 350 is officially debadged. Look at that. Hell yeah. That duck bill, though. Yeah, bro, that shit's so hard. All right, let's check out the fender flare. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that shit's... Oh, fuck. It looks like it's gonna fit good. So we'll have to cut all of this. Yeah. So this is the front splitter, and it makes it look way better, too. Yeah, that shit's fucking dope, bro. I cannot wait to put all of this shit on. So the test fit turned out to be successful. Now the next step is to actually bolt all the different pieces on the car. And then from there, we'll take everything off, make sure all the pieces, you know, are sanded. Basically prepare it for paint, cut out the fenders, and then officially bolt everything on. So it's gonna be a process. We're not gonna be able to knock everything out in like one day. It's gonna have to, you know, be a continuous thing. This is our first time doing anything like this so it's awesome to share that with you guys plans for the 350 are obviously the wide body get some wheels on it figure out what type of splitters if we're gonna go with the ones that we have now or maybe there's a better setup out there I'm gonna work on more cosmetic stuff like you know tinting the windows I did purchase a backup camera um, whole new touchscreen stereo system I got brand new floor mats brand new carpet for the trunk we're obviously gonna get better brakes i'm looking into getting a performance clutch on it so that's a wrap i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was a little short this time if you want to enter in our youtube giveaway all you have to do is comment below you can talk about what i should do with the 350z what type of wheel shoot some links give me some ideas still have an open mind on a 350 i actually was not planning on buying this car it just so happened to be in front of me and i test drove it i also want to mention the 350z is not not replacing the Audi R8. It's not replacing that. Um, this is actually a daily, and I know I'm wide bodying my daily. I honestly don't care. It's for you guys, it's for content, so, and we're just having fun. All you have to do to enter in our giveaway is comment below, that's it. We'll choose the winner on our next vlog. Anyways, I'm gonna display the winner for this vlog right here. So make sure to shoot us a DM with your shirt size and address. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Share this video with all of your friends, family, anybody that you can think you can show this video to, do it. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. I miss the old Kanye, straight from the gold Kanye. Chop up the soul Kanye, set on his goals Kanye. I hate the new Kanye, the bad mood Kanye, the always rude Kanye. Spazzing the news Kanye, I miss the sweet Kanye. Chop up the beast.